we could only imagine here what this foreign tourist over here did in China. Most people in China, local people, like domestic Chinese people, and even the Chinese people in Canada, USA, most Chinese people keep to themselves and don't get involved in other people's affairs or what they're doing, even though what they're doing is probably wrong. So I, this guy most likely said something <clears throat> Along the lines of F China or something like that. And that that's what got this crowd agitated over here in over here in uh where is this place? A Sanya uh Hainan, China. This guy over here looks like he's probably he could be from Canada, seriously. Look at how skinny this guy is. People in Canada struggle to afford food these days, and look at this skinny white boy over here looks like he's from Canada kind of looks like it looks like the entitled typical Canadian loser like Justin Bieber when he was younger so uh, this guy over here so it, t it does take a lot for people to get agitated in China especially a crowd of people <clears throat> so what this guy probably did was he got in an argument or disagreement with somebody at the beach uh being disrespectful who knows and lifeguard lifeguards here act as security guards also in china so the security guard or lifeguard probably told him calm down stop agitating other people and then he just went to rage says f china and all of that and that's what got these other chinese bystanders uh agitated and the police had to take him away supposedly to protect him from the angry crowd so that's the only thing that i could think of based on experience and just observation for the last three or four decades of my life <clears throat> chinese people whether they're in china mainland china hong kong or canada us chinese people don't interfere and don't want to get involved in hassles and trouble in general unless but these uh, people in china they would seriously stand up for themselves and their country if somebody goes around saying something like f china and all that